If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform this plain bottle of Bacardi into this lovely glitter and rhinestone embellished glamorous bottle, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today in this video, I am going to show you how to add some glitter to this Bacardi Dragonberry bottle. I'm going to be using some Mod Podge glue, a sponge brush, I already have a little bit of the glue on this little lid here, and you will also need some glitter. I'm just debating um, which glitter I'm going to use. I'm going to go the chunkier route or the extra fine glitter route. I really like the chunky glitter. I like both. Then you'll need some type of brush to brush off the excess. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off in small sections. I usually always start from the bottom. And I'm just going to make sure I go as evenly as possible. You're definitely welcome to mask off the bottle or the labels in certain areas if you like to. I don't because I don't like to. Um, I don't feel like it. I'm not sure if I'll be that steady to even mask it off. So I just kind of keep a steady hand. And I'm just going to go around the whole edge of the bottom. Um, try to cover as much as I can. If you're just starting out, do smaller sections because you don't want the glue to start to get rubbery and dry out. Also, make sure that when you're spreading the Mod Podge on the bottle that it's like nice and flat, not too thick and clumpy. Because if it's thick and clumpy, then your glitter will be that same way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm shaking on this glitter. Look how pretty that looks. I like when the chunky um, glitter has also smaller glitter flakes in it. I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but it also has some very small pieces of glitter in here as well. So it's like a perfect mix. I just absolutely love this color glitter and it does match very well with the labels. And it has also some holographic pieces in there as well. So you're just going to continue to get in between those labels the best way you can. If there's a label that you feel like isn't necessary, like for me I feel like this back label just wasn't necessary and I could just do without it. If you like to read the label or if you think the label is cute or if you're going to cover it up and do something customized over the label, then keep it. It's completely up to you. But I just didn't want that label so I covered it up and I'm just going to continue to shake on the glitter. It does have a nice, very full coverage also. It really comes in handy to have some type of blush brush. In this case, I'm using a larger brush, but I usually have a much smaller brush. It just helps to get the extra glitter out the way. And I'm almost finished, you guys, with the first coat. coat of the confetti glitter. The confetti glitter actually lays pretty well. I'll see what it looks like. I may not add a first coat. So I'll look this over and see how it's going. This may be the only coat because it has such great coverage. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe this little area off with some alcohol, just in case there's something sticky or just whatever. I just like to wipe it off. I'm not gonna do anything to the seal. This is a brand new bottle, never opened. I'm just going to add to this area right there. I'll be using some liquid fusion. This is one of my favorite glues. Um, I've been using E6000 so much because it works best for Crocs, but as far as adding rhinestones to this type of material or plastics or glasses, um, glass material, um, liquid fusion is great. It's about $13 on Amazon. The first time I bought it was about 11, but for some reason it's like it's keep going up. It has a very gentle smell. It's not harsh. So that's that's one of the main reasons I like to use this. I usually have a um, precision tip bottle, but I'm just gonna use this straight up the big bottle for today. So you can just take the glue of your choice and start to add on some rhinestones at the top here. You don't have to, you can do glitter or you can leave this area blank. It's dry for the most part, but I did see a little bit of thinness in these areas. So off camera, I added some fine glitter, which I kind of wish I wouldn't have done because you could like really tell but it's still really pretty. It's just that for some reason, I found this confetti glitter to be so, so messy. And then there was like a spot here. <laughs> it looked how noticeable that is. I don't know why I did that. But it was like thin there and I just didn't feel like dealing with the confetti, but whatever. I still think this looks very pretty. Maybe I can dust some of it off. So now, I think it's cool now. I'm gonna go ahead and seal this. I'm gonna be using this product that I showed you in the beginning of the video. And I have a sponge brush. I'll just pour a little bit in this lid here. If I have to add more, I'll add more. Um, but I still think this looks very pretty. So now I'm gonna go ahead and seal the glitter. So what I'll probably do, like I said, it's not that noticeable right there, but since I do have it here, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this to this. That's what I'm just gonna do. A little bit to that area, just a little bit, just to cover up that fine glitter on that one spot. You know how there's just a little spot that just bothers you and you're like, no, I can't get over this little spot. So I'm just gonna add that over that. Let that dry. I know I'm supposed to be sealing it, but I just had to go over that spot. You know, you just want everything to be cohesive. Okay, so while I'm waiting on that to dry, take these five millimeter jelly rhinestones and add them to this top area. So just in case you fast forward it or didn't catch on, I ended up doing a second coat, a gentle second coat with the sealant. Um, I just couldn't, I couldn't stand the area that I added the little fine glitter to in the front that I showed you previously and then on that little spot on the back. So I did do a second coat, but that's optional. the five millimeter rhinestones to this area. Now I'm gonna take my brush and just see how dry this is. So now I can attempt to seal it. This is looking like really, 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 really good. Real good. I think this is gonna be a gift for my sister-in-law. It's her birthday it was a couple days ago. She's a pink, no, no, she's a blue girl. She likes a blue, but she'll still like this. I don't want every gift I give her to be blue. I mean, unless, you know, I think she'll like some other color pop added to her um, her little ladies lounge that she has. So it's looking pretty full. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead, hopefully it didn't dry out. This product, and in case you fast forward it, I'm using this. It's a, um, a clear pouring top coat. I had some left in my little lid here. And I'm just gonna brush this over the entire bottle. And this is going to be my sealant to lock it in so this glitter isn't just falling all over the place. So this is what I'm doing. And if you don't have any of this medium clear pouring solution, what you can do is you can always use Mod Podge. Um, I've used Mod Podge in the past to seal glitter, the gloss one, not the matte. And still for me, it's kind of cloudy. So I like this stuff a little bit better and I just think that it has a much better outcome. I'm almost finished with this and I'll be revealing the bottle to you soon. Okay, so this is like one and a half coats here of glitter. It is fully covered with the sealant. We're gonna let this dry and then it'll be all finished and then we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of this video. I am a lover of pink. So this is absolutely gorgeous to me. I really, really like the way that this glitter looks on this bottle. I really like the way that the sealant that I use seals in this glitter because it's chunky. Prior to me sealing it, it was very rough and scaly. But adding one coat of this medium pouring acrylic gloss, it is smooth to touch and I didn't have any fall off. So I just think this is great. So just consider this, you guys, like a really cute gift or just something cute to have around your home. This is going to be a gift for my sister-in-law. I'm actually going to drop it off to her probably today. And I'm sure she's going to love it. She usually likes the gifts, um, always likes the gifts that I had give to her. So this could be a nice gift for someone, you guys. Or you know what? If you're having a special event and you have your table all set up really cute, Imagine this on your table, or even two of them, like one on each side, or you know, a series of bottles glittered to the color of your event that you're having. Just throwing out some ideas. But anyway, you guys, I just want to thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did find it helpful or got some cool ideas from it. Share it on Facebook or share it with a friend who may like something like this. Again, you can choose any bottle you want, any liquor or wine, whatever it is, even champagne. So you have plenty of options as far as that's concerned. Hi to my new subscribers and hello to all my subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber and you're just stopping by, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye. Be sure to check out my playlist dedicated to me embellishing wine bottles, liquor bottles, um, you name it, I've probably done it. Bye-bye.